Well, it's great to see you. I haven't seen uh, most of you since um, yesterday. <laughs> Sorry. I know the summer sessions are tough. They're intense. There's a lot of work. But as I look through my class roster, I have had all of you, except for maybe four or five of you, this last session. And you're almost there. You're halfway through. And this particular section isn't going to be much different than the last session in terms of what I expect and the way it's set up. It will start out very intense and then it gets a little bit easier as we, each week goes. And I'm going to kind of point that out to you as we go. For those of you that don't know or didn't know before, uh, my office hours are over here on the left. Also, a uh, phone number in case you have any sort of issues. Please know that if you have any sort of problems that you need to get a hold of me ASAP. Send me an email, give me a phone call. Do not wait till three weeks into the course and then say, Mr. Jarvis, I've had problems with my computer since the first week. Because at that point, I'm going to get irritated and say, why didn't you talk to me in the first week? So please make sure that you're, uh, if you have any sort of issues, you just get a hold of me as soon as possible. All right. Uh, those of you that have not taken this course uh, or have not taken a course from me, you need to make sure that you read this course syllabus. It goes through all the information you need to know about this class. Also, this really important part here about my late work policy is so very important. You need to read it, know it, and understand it because I will not budge from it. As we go back to the main page, look over to the latest news section here. Two, three, four times a week, I'm going to shoot out emails to everyone. It's going to go out class-wide telling you, hey, you're doing a really great job here. We can improve there. Or, wow, this was a train wreck and it needs to change. Or, you know what, hey, there's been a new assignment added. Make sure that you get it taken care of. All right. So make sure that you understand this latest news. It's something that you need to be up to date on. As we go through the first week, notice that there is a lot of reading and a lot of assignments. I do that by design. You know, I, I've taught this course since it started, and I found if it starts out really easy, nobody really gets into a flow, and everyone's putting things off, and then excuses start flowing. So I started off intense like this to make sure that those students that are going to be goofing around, that are going to be the ones giving me the excuses as to why they don't have this or they don't have that, Basically, they get weeded out in the first week, they drop, and they're gone. And that gives me more time, really, to focus on you guys and make sure that I'm helping you get the most you can out of this course. Also know that there are several assignments as we look through this first week, um, a few, not several, that won't be there. So if that makes you breathe a little bit easier, there you go. Uh, as you look on to the second week, again, there's, there's a good chunk of reading, but less. And there are fewer assignments, and there are, you know, a, a few assignments that are going to be taken off this. Remember with my discussion post, there are actually four in this first week. One, two, three, four discussion posts. Remember with those, you have got to have your first post to each one of these done no later than Sunday evening. And the reason for that is, is so we can have some sort of true discussion online. If everybody waits until the night it's due, there's not going to be any sort of discussion. So that's why I say Sunday night, you've got your first post up there, and then that gives you Sunday, Monday, Tuesday night to be posting on what other people have said. So please make sure that you follow that, and I explain uh, you know, that expectation also in my course syllabus. Uh, I know I've already said it, but those of you that have not read this course syllabus or have not taken a class from me, you need to read this. This is going to answer probably all of your questions. Uh, I think I mentioned it, but I want to double check. Understand that the class runs, each class week runs from a Wednesday to a Tuesday night at 11.55 p.m. So please keep that in mind for the weeks. As we go on to the third week, you see that the reading gets less again. The assignments get less, but there are one, two, three, yeah, three tests uh, that week. So there's less assignments, but more tests. Also know with tests that this last session, I had nine students that didn't take at least one test. I had a couple students that didn't take any of the tests. I don't, I don't know why, <laughs> I don't know why, but I 
I have a problem with that, okay? You need to take those tests. Now the tests do not have a due date associated with them. They are just due by the end of the, uh, the session. But that doesn't mean that you just get a free pass on them. So if they're, if by August 17th at 11.55 p.m., if you have a test and it's not taken, it's going in as a zero. And I know I had some students in this first session that going up to the last day of class, they had a B in the class, but they hadn't taken any of the tests. And then at the end of the session, I went in and put zeros in for those tests and they ended up with an F. So you need to make sure that doesn't happen to you, all right? So this is week three. Uh, more tests, but less assignments, less reading. Week four, notice there's hardly anything. There's just reading, one assignment, this discussion post isn't even gonna be there. Uh, and then week five, your only responsibility is the final. Uh, for those of you that are wondering if I'm gonna open up the whole session at once, I'm not. And that's simply because, you know, if I open it all up at once, I get people that either A, rush all the way through it and don't get anything out of the course, or B, uh, they wait until this last night, they turn in 50 assignments, and then they're telling me they need a grade uh, by Saturday morning. And it's, it's usually horrible work. So, so I'm not gonna open up the entire course. You're only gonna be able to see a week at a time until the beginning of this fourth week. At the beginning of the fourth week, I will open up week four and week five. And assuming that you've stayed up to task, uh, some of you could finish very early on in, uh, in August rather than waiting until the 17th. That'll be up to you. All right. A few other basic points. Let me see. Um, oh, when it comes to uh, plagiarizing, Understand this, if you're writing something and it looks different than anything else that you've turned in before, usually what I'll do is I'll copy and paste a section of that writing into Google, I'll hit search, and if, if you have lifted that off the internet, uh, a popular site for students to lift things off of is AP Study Notes, all right? What ends up happening is Google returns a search and shows me exactly what words were lifted from that site. And a lot of, not a lot, but a few students uh, think that they're being kind of sly. And I see exactly where you lifted it from word for word. So please, copying and pasting is not learning. All right, you're showing me what the internet knows, not what you know. Uh, when it comes to Wikipedia and our terms, all right, when we answer our terms, know that, you know, to copy and paste out of Wikipedia Sometimes Wikipedia is wrong. Secondly, you're again proving what Wikipedia knows, not you. Your answers come from your reading. So make sure you do your reading and your terms will be fine. If, if I see Wikipedia answers uh, when it comes to, to those terms and definitions, I know you're not doing your reading. So make sure that you're taking care of business when it comes to your reading and not just copying and pasting. Another question that comes about many times is, Mr. Jarvis, can I just watch the videos rather than doing the reading? And you can, but you guys all know for the most part that I'm kind of a stickler for specific detail. And you're not gonna get near as much specific detail out of the, um, out of the videos as you will the reading. They're fairly close in terms of information, but they're not exact. So do with that what you will, all right? And let's see, one of the last things I wanna talk about, Oh want to just reiterate this here. Even though it says right here in Moodle that this last week ends August 21st, it does not. The end of the second session is Friday, August 17th. So make sure that you understand that all the work from week four, which is only this, and your final test are all to be finished by 11.55 p.m. on Friday, August 17th. If you have any outstanding tests that you haven't taken by that time, they're due by that time. So please do not flake out on those things. Don't be emailing me saying, oh, I, I thought we had till Monday or next Wednesday. You don't. So please make sure that you're taking care of business there. All right? In general, I saw wonderful things last session. I, I think we've got a great group of students in this class. 
And I think you'll do a wonderful job. Remember, if you have any questions, email me, call me. Uh, I'm here to help you. And I'm looking forward to having another great session with you. All right. Talk to you later. Thanks.